Intradermal skin testing is just one of the ways we can determine which allergens are significant in a case of atopic dermatitis. The purpose of this test is to decide which allergens to use in allergen-specific immunotherapy, which is one way of trying to control this disease. The first injection is the positive histamine control. This produces a red raised wheel at the injection site. The second injection is the negative control and this is the saline in which the allergens are suspended in. At the remaining sites we inject individual allergens such as house dust mites, forage and storage mites, grass, tree and weed pollens and various moulds. A positive reaction produces an inflammatory wheel similar to that of the positive control. This develops within 15 minutes. It is very important that this test is not performed until all other causes of the animal's itchy skin condition have been eliminated. This is due to the incidence of false positives which can occur occasionally with this test. Diseases such as food allergy, scabies, and flea allergy all have to be ruled out, as do other external parasites and yeast and bacterial infections, as these can all contribute to an itchy skin condition. Here we see the results of the intradermal skin test in this dog. On the left there is the positive histamine control. At the fifth site along is the positive reaction to the house dust mite Dematophagoides farinae. And further along, there are positive reactions to three different species of forage and storage mites. These mites can be found in house dust and can also be occasionally found in sacks of dried dog food which have been left open for a very long time. Further down, there is a positive reaction to Malatsitia. This is a yeast that is present in dog's ears and can also cause problems in dog's skin affected with atopic dermatitis. Allergy to this yeast will exacerbate an already quite itchy skin condition. Here is another dog that has had an intradermal skin test and this dog is allergic to some pollens as well as house dust mites. With the results of the intradermal skin test, we can formulate a vaccine to use in allergen-specific immunotherapy. Allergen-specific immunotherapy can improve the symptoms of ATP by at least 50% in about 75% of cases. Allergen-specific immunotherapy can be given either by injection with maintenance injections of once a month, or by sublingual immunotherapy which is given twice a day, every day, under the tongue. Here is a photograph of a young German Shepherd dog that has suffered with atopic dermatitis for several months. The inflammation had resulted in thickening of the skin and hyperpigmentation and the dog was very itchy. Here is a picture of the same dog, six months later, after receiving allergen specific immunotherapy. The skin has returned to normal and the dog is no longer itchy. For more information on intradermal skin testing, atopic dermatitis or any other dermatological problem with your pet, either go to www.lesterskinvet.com or phone Lester 0116 326 0402.